Hello friends, today I will discuss the difference between three and four level lasers. In the three level laser system, the atoms are pumped from the ground state E1 to higher state E3 with the help of pumping source. The E3 is called the pumping state. Uh, even in a four level laser, the atoms are excited with the help of pumping source. I have that I have also discussed the three level laser that is the ruby laser so you can wrap for the same also. The lifetime of atoms is least in the energy level E3. It means E3 is an unstable state and here atoms stay for 10 to minus 9 to 10 to minus 8 seconds. Atoms make transition from level E3 to E2. Energy level E2 is the metastable state having lifetime 10, 10 raised to the minus 5 to 10 raised to the minus 3 seconds. Thus, population of atoms become more in the energy state E2 as compared to E1. I have already discussed the matter stable state in my previous video lectures. The stimulated emission occurs between E2 and E1 producing laser. E2 is known as the upper laser level and E1 is known as lower laser level. The example of three level laser is ruby laser. Drawbacks of three level laser system. In the three level laser system, the terminal level is ground level and hence more than half of the atoms are to be transferred to the level E2. This requires more pumping power. So high power pumping source like xenon flash tube like optical pumping is used in three level laser system. For example, in ruby laser, we have used the high power pumping source that is Xenon flash tube. Usually, the output in three level laser system is not continuous but in pulse form. But the presence of large number of atoms in level E2 gives rise to large number of spontaneous radiation blast transitions. This energy is usually carried by lattice photons, due to which the efficiency of three level laser system is less. Four level laser system. In the four level laser system, the atoms from ground state E1 are raised to excited state E4 with the help of pumping source. From the E4, the atoms decay to energy state E3 by spontaneous emission. You can see here. The transition rate of atoms from E4 to E3 is much faster as compared to transition rate from E3 to E2. This is due to this reason that E4 is an excited state with lifetime of the atoms of the order of 10 to the power minus 8 seconds. E3 is the metastable state because the number of atoms in E3 exceeds the number of atoms in E2. The population inversion is achieved between E3 and E2. The laser action takes place between E3 and E2 by stimulated emission. The atoms for from energy state E2 get re excited to E1, the atoms from E1 are again pumped to E2. I have discussed all these things, I will sorry, I will discuss all these things in one of the laser that is a helium ion laser. So watch out for watch out for my uh, future video lectures. Advantage of four level is the rate of relaxation of the atoms from E2 to E1 should be faster than the rate of arrival of atoms from E2 or E2. This is required for better efficiency of laser system, thus, four level laser is better than three level laser. The output is continuous. So, this is very important aspect that why four level laser is better than three level laser system. One of the reason is that one of the reason is that the output the output is Output is continue. Output is continue in four level laser system, but in three level laser system, output is not continue. It is in the form of pulse. This is the major major advantage of four level laser system. So, for further reference, please search our website venusscience.com. Please please sub subscribe to our channel youtube.com user winner science thank you thanks a lot